Hey everybody, it's me Vic. So I wanted to talk about HDR content when it comes to Windows users versus Mac users um, and tone mapping and capture cards, all that fun stuff, right? So we're gonna get started here very shortly, but I do wanna make a disclaimer. Um, OBS doesn't do tone mapping the way that they do in Windows in Mac. Um, Mac, it's kind of specific, right? So the best thing that I could suggest for Mac users is LUTs, and we can talk about LUTs here very shortly. But we're gonna get started here. So I wanna start off with the Mac platform because I was actually working on something for like three days, um, and uh, I, every time I tried to do it, it really varies by game. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is Elgato. So let's go ahead and pull up Elgato's software here. On the software, if you hold down control, click on the cogwheel or what we call settings, um, you're gonna go to your, oh yeah, no, there's definitely signal. You're gonna go here. Um, I always disable certain things. I don't know if y'all wanna fine tweak it or tune it for your own, um, but let me, let me relaunch this because I think it didn't pick up on everything the way that I had it. I saw some stuff on there that wasn't matching. Okay, here we go. So, in the recording content, I don't ever use the software to record, like ever, um, but I do reduce preview frame rate during recording. Um, I do uncheck it. I uncheck enable flashback recording because I'm not using their software for flashback and I don't want it to take up so much stuff on my hard drive. Um, their software is great. I like using this software for just configuration purposes only. Um, and I held down control, clicked on the cog wheel. Now here we go. You can enable tone mapping or disable it. Now, if you're wanting to use the tone mapping provided from the capture card, I recommend leaving enable HDR tone mapping on your device when closing software. Unless you want it to tone map your entire thing the whole time, you can actually select use HDR tone mapping on device. I use neither, so I click on apply and I click on okay. Um, I would recommend making sure that you have your color range to bypass seen as input. Um, and, and this is just for a specific reason in OBS. Um, now let's get to the heart of it when it comes to Mac users, right? Because most Mac users, they have like a, a setting now with the HD60X where they can actually just download a specific utility to change certain things and then be done with it. Well, they have OBS, but in OBS, there are certain things that they're limited to. Um, sorry, I, I was pulling up a game so I could talk about this. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and go into Spider-Man here. And uh, I'm not tone mapping it, so that's why it looks washed out in HD. Oh, that's not good. Well, give me just a moment, y'all. All right, sorry about that. So I got it to cooperate. As you can see, the game is now playing. Um, the colors... They, they don't look HDR, right? I, I don't know if I have my, my system in HDR. So let's go ahead and make sure we're in HDR. And there's a reason for this. You'll go under screen and video. I'm using my PlayStation 5 for this. Uh, HDR, on when supported. So as you can see, the colors should be pretty vibrant, um, which is HDR. I don't have tone mapping going on, but I'm gonna talk about tone mapping. So. I know it's gonna hit Mac users. Um, Mac users are not gonna have this feature when they right click into properties and they're going to try to change the color profile. I have it to where I can game in HDR and it'll still put it out in SDR, which is going to be the Rec 709. But if you're wanting to capture it in HDR or display the game in HDR, um, Windows users have this where they can change the video format to YUY2 and we can actually change it down to 2100 PQ. Uh, PQ makes things look completely oversaturated, which is, I mean, the reds are pretty. I mean, look at that. The reds are actually very vibrant, um, but I don't like using that one. HLG seems to be a little bit more towards the uh, natural color profile, but that's on Windows. For Mac users, it's a little bit different. Um, LUTs are actually gonna be your, your better option. And uh, I've created some. I'm actually changing this back because I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like putting things in HDR. I was testing it out, as you can see on my YouTube, there's like a few videos that have been in HDR with me 
trial and error, trial and error. I like the Y U Y two and the H G. It's an H G L or H L G. Let me check real quick. The H L G. I like using that one because the colors look more natural, um, and I have an H D R monitor, so I prefer to to do it that way if I am going to game in H D R. But if I'm going to just be recording and I'm going to be uploading it, most people either aren't watching it in HDR unless they're mobile. And if they're mobile, um, then kudos, you know. But if not, everybody has a different monitor. Everybody has a different um, way of gaming. And if you're that one person who wants to play in HDR and you want your content in HDR, some is going to be game specific and some of it is going to be tailored towards um, tone mapping. Now, Windows PCs are going to benefit from tone mapping, but Macs aren't, and that's where the LUTs come in. Now, if I were to go here and I were to go to filters and I wanted to add an LUT, this is something you can do on a Mac, by the way. You can click on Apply LUT. I'm just going to label it whatever. It's going to stay labeled as. I have these on my desktop. So there is the more recent one that I created, and I made the Spider-Man Miles Morales, and I created this one specifically just to demonstrate HDR, right? So we're gonna click on close. I'm gonna start the game. I'm just wanting to show you all the HDR content. Um, I know it's gonna be a pretty lengthy video, but you know, stay tuned, we're gonna talk about it. So as you can see, the blues are blue, right? And I'm not having to tone map anything because the LUT I created makes the white whites, the blues blues, the reds wet, red. Um, the thing is with this game, on the shadowing, I wanted it to look natural and gray, look more realistic, but I realized that even when I was turning off the filter, which I'm going to show you right now, if I turned it off, there is no LUT applied, there is no tone mapping going on, and it's still blue. So just keep that in mind. Every game is different, and with an LUT, you can customize an LUT to be game specific. If you're wanting an overall HDR one, I would say go with something that's a bit subtle in the game where it matches natural tones or it has a whole bunch of array of colors. Um, that way you can make it a little bit natural. I tried um, a very popular content creator's uh, HDR, LUT, HDR to SDR, and even playing certain games like Hogwarts Legacy, the orange, the peach colored skin tones were orange and I, I was like no I, I can't do this so just keep in mind with LUTs on Mac users it varies from game to game um, and and yeah there's a huge difference using the LUT as you can see the blues are blue the reds are red it's it's beautiful and that's pretty much what the HDR is now I did take a screenshot in the video game while I was in HDR mode edited it while I was in HDR mode and created the LUT. So this is my own LUT. And if you're wanting the Miles Morales LUT, you can reach out to me on my Discord and, and I'll be happy to share it. Um, anyways, that is going to be for Mac users. Now, how do I create the LUT? Well, that's pretty simple. Like this screenshot here, right? We're gonna take it. Give me a minute, y'all. I am going to pull up my, um, my stuff here. I have a program called Affinity Photo. Um, I'm using Affinity Photo 2. And now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna minimize my OBS. I'm gonna pull up Affinity. And I am gonna pull up my screenshot. So file, open, photos, pictures, screenshot. Here we go, open. Pay no attention to the other stuff. And then right here in the heart of it, um, I'm not actually in HDR mode, but you can edit in HDR mode, and, and that's preferable when it comes to this. So let me turn my monitor into HDR. We might see the screen flicker or something. Okay, so now I'm in HDR mode. Y'all probably don't see that, but I do. And what I can do is I can come in here and I can edit, right? So in Affinity, there's some adjustments that we can do. And it's so simple to create an LUT. I didn't know I could do this based off of a photo and I was researching so many things. Well, anyways, let, let's go ahead and do that, right? So the first thing I wanna do is selective color because I want my reds to be really red, right? So if we do the yellow, we go a little darker. As you can see, things are changing here. And I wanted to show you all this because it's so simple to create your own LUT. And if you know what you're doing in a photo editing software and the software permits you to export an LUT, you can create your own LUTs for your games on Mac. 
Um, and Affinity Photo is available on Mac. It's available on Windows. I prefer using it. I moved away from Photoshop because I didn't like the monthly subscription platform. Um, so that's the reason why. And if, if you see, you see how the darker we go, we can make it a little bit more red. Now I can change the blues. Let's go to the blues here. This is going to be cyan, so we're going to basically tailor it, right? And, and I, like I said, it's going to be a lengthy video. Um, but if we do this, we can make the blues even bluer. I know you're seeing the pixels, but you notice how things are changing, right? So, I mean, even just doing this, it's, it's slightly tweaking things, right? So we can definitely change the blues. Maybe we don't like the yellow as much, right? But that's also going to be factoring in cyan. So as you can see, we're changing the, the overall picture. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice what we're doing right now. Sorry, y'all, I was getting a phone call. <laughs> and that's why you saw the this shake. Um, but when we're doing all of this, we're able to notice that there's still colors here, right? Like the yellows still look good. We probably won't need to touch the yellow, period. Um, but the blues, we want the blues to really stand out, right? So the darker we go, the darker the game is going to look when we're doing this. So we want to make sure that we're just tweaking it. We're not changing it drastically. We want certain colors to pop, and while we're playing, we want it to still look natural to the game. Um, and like I said, you're just slightly, slightly tweaking it. So if we go here, you're going to see how it looks more magenta, right? So that's, that's definitely a thing. And then with the cyan colors, we're going to be doing, I'm sorry, y'all, y'all are seeing my phone shake and I'm getting notification after notification. Ah, I am so sorry about that. Okay. I was getting a Twitch notification. Oh my gosh, this is not what I expected, but let's keep going. All right, so cyan's, right? Like, what if I, I want it to not look so yellow and I want it to look a little more natural? Well, as you can see, we can actually lighten that to where it looks blue and it doesn't look like it's borderline green. Um, we could even darker it, and look, we're getting more muscularity here when it comes to the photo. And we haven't touched much, right? We haven't touched much. We haven't changed much. Um, and I think I'm going to just use this example real quick here to go to File, Export LUT, and you always want to do it max quality because if you do it minimal quality, you're, when you share your LUT, no one is going to get the full benefit of the same LUT, right? So I'm going to label this test. We're going to export it. I'm going to put it to my desktop and save. And it's that simple to create an LUT, especially for Mac users. So when I come here, and I go to the filter, and then I change it to test, right? Because we just created a new LUT. And look at that. We can see a slightly better difference where he's not looking bad at all. It's pretty interesting, huh? Wait. What I want to check is did I activate it? <laughs> filter. I did not. OK, hold on, close. But now you can see. There's the blue, there's the red. I wanted to show you all this example of what I've been working on. You know, you can create your own LUT for any video game doing this. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day.